The objective of the PACER test is to evaluate students' aerobic and cardiovascular endurance. The student's goal for this test is to run the 20 meter distance as long as possible at the indicated pace, which does get faster with each minute. Teachers, prepare students by having them listen to the cadence tape for several minutes. Prior to testing, be sure to make copies of the PACER score sheet for each group of students being tested. Score sheets are located in the test administrator manual. Teachers, assign each student a partner. One student will be the runner and one will be the scorekeeper. The scorekeeper is responsible for counting the runner's laps and recording the runner's time on the score sheet. Students must be carefully instructed on the scoring procedure prior to testing. Scorekeepers should sit in a designated area where they can clearly see their running partner and hear the cadence. At the completion of the test, the partnering students exchange places. The running student becomes the scorekeeper and the scorekeeper becomes the runner. Teachers are encouraged to develop a system for scorekeepers to pick up and turn in the score sheets at the beginning and end of the test. Go over the system with students prior to starting the test. To begin the test, running students line up behind a marked starting line and listen to the cadence to become familiar with it. Once you are familiar with the cadence, teachers let the students know the test is about to start. At the signal, running students will run the marked 20 meter distance. You should touch the line at the end of the 20 meters by the time the beep in the cadence sounds. If you reach the line before One. the beep sounds, wait until the next beep sounds before running back to the other end. A single beep sound indicates the end of one lap or the 20 meter distance. Nine seconds is allowed for running each 20 meter lap for the first minute. Students, the beginning speed is very slow, so it's best to pace yourself so you don't start off too fast. The speed for each lap increases by a half a second at each increasing level. The end of a level and an increase in speed is indicated by a triple beep. Students, when you hear the triple beep, do not hesitate and immediately begin your run towards the other end of the area. Students, if you cannot reach the end line before the beep sounds, you get one more chance to regain the pace. However, the second time you do not reach the line, your test is complete. The two misses do not have to be consecutive. The second miss pace simply indicates your test is complete. Students, once you complete the test, continue walking or stretching in the designated area for cool down. Teachers, for this test, one lap is considered to be one 20 meter or 21 yard 32 inch distance. When scoring for the PACER test, the total number of laps completed by the student will be the recorded score used. The first miss by the student will be counted. For test management purposes and due to time constraints of class schedules, it is suggested that the duration of the PACER test be limited to 20 minutes. Students should perform appropriate warm-up exercises immediately before the run begins. It is important that students also perform proper cool-down after the completion of their test. If the PACER test is used during pre-testing, it must be repeated in post-testing.